Charles Darwin, father of evolutionary theory, traveled to all ends of the earth and studied a diverse array of animal species. He was also the first person to recognize the significance of sex and evolution coming to this realization because his theory of natural selection had a major problem. Natural selection does not explain the presence of extravagant, exotic, and simply ornamental display traits seen throughout nature. But Charles Darwin had an answer. He called it sexual selection. We know this as the process of selecting traits that are directly concerned with increasing an individual's mating success. We will now examine the attentive and cognitive mechanisms behind female choice and sexual selection in our lovely friend, the peafowl. Let's travel to beautiful Schenectady, New York to meet with the world's most famous peacock specialists and learn what peafowl courtship is all about. In a world gone mad, is there still hope for a peahen looking for some action? Tonight, on The Bachelorette, we find out. Join me as we observe a beautiful, eligible peahen in her prime as she searches for a hot peacock. Let's introduce our Indian Bachelorette peahen, Chetna. She hails from the woodlands of northern India and enjoys her time dust bathing, Foraging among the forest floor. And visiting her favorite watering hole with her fellow pea gals. Upon the advent of breeding season, she is now in search of an eligible mate. We now meet her sexy potential lovers. I'm Krishna, I like long walks on the beach. Hi, I'm Patrick Sullivan, and I haven't showered in a week. <laughs> I'm Austin Bannister, and I like feet. <laughs> Young, and I like to think I'm funny. Josh Barker, and I like really small hands. I'm Karen Tilsley, host of The Bachelorette. Joining me tonight is the world's most renowned peafowl expert, Christine Valenti. She's going to offer some insight into our peacock and peafowl. Yes, thank you for having me. I love peacocks. Here you see a lack. A lack is an aggregation of males engaging in competitive displays to entice a female. Now observe the first round of peacock displays. Your money maker, like somebody bought to pay you. I see you on my radar, don't you act like you were afraid of she? You know I got it if you want to Intriguing round. As you can see, some peacocks used an upper train display while others use a lower train display. Let's see who Chetna gives roses to. Yes. Looks like Austin and Rob are out of this round. Let's move on to the frontal displays. Another great round. As you can see, Krishna and Pat did a frontal display as Travis was a little boring with no movement at all. Let's tune into the second rose ceremony. Big fan of that frontal display. Travis is out of here. Let's move on to the final round. Wow, what a great final round. Krishna had quite the aggressive backside display. I can't wait to see who wins. Let's see who wins it all. At last, my love has come along. Let's get it on. Ah, Let's get it on. 
animal round of The Bachelorette. I love it when two pee animals get along. I can't wait to watch them mate. We will now consult Dr. Hannah Coffin, who has dedicated her life to living amongst feral pea fowls. Her research is the reason why we know all we do about pea fowls. After seeing the interactions between our lovely pea hen Chetna and the peacocks, I would like to review the science of the experiment. We made the discoveries by using an eye tracking camera so we could watch where the pea hen's gaze went. I used this method in a number of trials and the results were stunning. Like we saw during round one, the lower train is the most important during peacock sexual selection. And this was consistent with Chetna's choices. Going into the second and third round, as you may have noticed during the courtship display, our peahen didn't seem very interested in the peacocks. This is because we found that a third of the time is spent looking at the peacocks, and the rest of the time the peahen just kind of around. So during round two, we saw a not pay very much attention before the front side train rattle. And then during it, she was paying a lot of attention. And then afterwards, they kind of held her attention. But during round three, she didn't pay attention much before or after the display, but she was looking while they were shaking it. So, Chetna's behavior on The Bachelorette matches what we found in Through Their Eyes, the selective attention of peacock peahens during courtship. Thanks for tuning in to this wonderful episode of The Bachelorette. Join me next time as we watch some elephants mate.